Life is a team effort. I have always labeled myself a team player, helping others and working in groups, a born leader, always looking for ways to assist friends and family in making their lives better. I volunteer for everything. I make time for everyone. I became a counselor so I could help people professionally every day. I want to be a light for others. But one day, the switch was flipped. My light went out. I was the one in need of help, and I resisted it. I am strong and independent. I was too ashamed to ask for help. I would consider this a weak move. I could figure it out on my own. I had the skills to do this. I just needed to find the answer. Being vulnerable is what I worked on with clients, but now I needed to be vulnerable. An internal conflict bubbled out of me. How could I help others if I was not capable of helping myself? At 45, I found myself in a situation I had never been in. I needed a place to live. I had always owned a home, but now needed to sell the one I was in. My two adolescent sons, two giant dogs, Fluffy Cat, and I were about to become homeless in Salida, where prices were going up and availability was going down. I suddenly needed the first month's rent, last month's rent, and a security deposit. It felt impossible. I realized this was more than I was capable of. Starring in my one-woman show was no longer an option. If this move was going to happen, I needed to reach out. I needed my tribe. I needed to be honest with myself. I called everyone I knew and told everyone I saw that we needed a place to live. And importantly, I admitted that I had to let others in to move forward. I recognized who was in my corner and I finally understood who could help me during my struggle. Others. Surprisingly, life's bumpy road had led me to a new light. Things fell into place, my internal conflict dissolved, and my path became illuminated. In nine short days, we packed, cleaned, moved into our rental, and put the house on the market. Friends old and new showed up. Community members went the extra mile and new housing programs suddenly became available. The impossible became possible.